Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So we looked at the problem of finding the smallest DFA given a DFA. And what we were able to show is that you can find the smallest number of states in a particular DFA that recognizes the same language by just grouping all of the states together and then trying to refine the groups more and more. But today we're going to do an actual example. So here is an example. So let's just say that we have a start state right here, and we have a state here, state here, that's also final, state down here, and one more state. So we have five states. These two are going to have a B go between them. This has an A going here, an A going between these two states, a, an A going over here, a B coming down here, and then A and B here. And then finally we have, oops, we have one B coming over here. Okay, so we can see that we have uh, five states here, and what we want to do is figure out whether or not this is the smallest DFA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all of the the final states in, in a red group and all of the other states in a blue group. Okay, so what we can see is now we have two groups and we're going to temporarily say that all the red states are the same and all of the blue states are the same. It's not possible for a red state and a blue state to be the same because you would get a purple state in America, right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, this little politician, uh, politics humor. Anyway, so we have a red state, blue states, and what we want to do is we want to refine the groups. So let's see. So we have uh, this state right here, and we have the transition on B going over to here. So let's see. So we can see that on a... Let's see, so we have transition B going over to here, and what we have is, yeah, so let's actually think about this. So the scenario we had right here is we saw that these two states were originally going to be the same, but are not now because the B transition for one of them goes to a non-final state, and the other one goes to a final state. So let's look at this right here. Well, we can see, let's look at this state right here and this state right here. Let's make sure you can actually see that, yeah. So this state, this state. Well, on input A, well, what do we see? Input A goes, for one of them, goes to a final state, and on input A, the other one goes to a non-final state. So these two states can't possibly be the same. So I'm going to put this one into a different group, into an orange group because these two states can't be the same. Well, let's see, what about these two states, the, blue, the two blue states? Well, they can't be the same either because, well, let's think. Well, this state has a self-loop on everything, and so it always goes to a non-final state no matter what. And this state right here, well, it goes to a non-final state on input B, but on input A, it goes to a final state. So these two can't be the same. And let's see, well, is it possible for this state and this state to be the same? So let, let's temporarily move them over to the same group. They can't be, these two can't be the same, but it might be the case that these two are the same. So let's see, well, it, they can't be the same because if we look at this, this state goes to non-final states on everything, but this one goes to a non-final state on A, but to a final state on B. So these two can't be the same either. So I'm going to put this into a completely different group, into a purple group. Now let's actually see. Well, well, these three are obviously going to be different. Uh, uh, yeah, they're, they're in different groups now. So the only possible uh, pair of states that might be the same are the two red states right here. Well, on input A, what do they do? Well, they go to the same state. 
and on input B, they go to the same state. They don't have to go to the same state for them to be the same, but as long as they go to um, this, uh, either final or non-final states, at least, that's good. And if they happen to go to the same group, that's fine too. So, uh, yeah, we, we can see that they actually... Yeah, so we have uh, that these two states are in fact the same because they do the exact same thing. So on input A, they go to the same state. Input B, they go to the same state. So these two states can be merged together. So we can finally get a minimized DFA out of this. So here's the minimized DFA. So if I call these uh, one state one, two, three, four, and five, we can see that one and five are merged, but no other states are merged. So here I'm going to have a state called one five, which is final because both of the originals were final. They, they had to be either both final or not final for this to work. And then on input A, well, they both go to state three. They go to state three. And on input B, they uh, both go to state two. And the rest of the machine over here is exactly the same as it was before. So the only thing that's different is that these two states are merged together. You, you put them together because, um, yeah, and then any transition that goes to one of them goes to this state. So on in, from state three, on input A, it'll come back here. I should probably do that. So on input A, it comes back. And on input B from state 2, it comes back too. And no other states go to them. Okay, so the whole process is pretty simple. You put them into two groups, final and non-final to start with, and then you merge states as you go. So let's actually do one where you actually can't minimize states. So, so the given DFA is actually minimal. So let's have this particular machine right here. So this one's going to have even more states, believe it or not. So this is going to have a uh, start state on input A, self loop on A here, and a B transition coming out to a state right here that's a dead state. So it self loops on everything. Uh, B comes over to here. I should probably redo that. So uh, final state here. It goes down to here on input B. This one goes on input A to a final state here. Final state, uh, sorry, uh, input B here. Input A goes to this state. And this one loops on A. This one goes over to here on B. Okay, so this is uh, th this is our starting DFA. So this is our example two. Oops. I meant to do this. Okay, so now let's put them into our groups just like before. So the only final, uh, only non-final state is this one right here. So I'm going to put that in the red group, and all the other states are in their own or in the blue group. So they're all in the same group right now. So now we just want to know which states are the same and which ones are not. So let's look at this pair right here. Well, let's see. Um, this state right here will always go to a final state in one transition, whereas this one doesn't. So these two are different states. So then uh, we can't merge these. Uh, could So could it be possible that these two are the same? Again, it's it, it might be possible because um, on input A, they go to a, um, a final state. And on input B, they go to a non-final state. So maybe they're the same. Let's see. So on input A, they go to... Actually, no, that, that's not right. So what we can see is that uh, they go to a um, this state and, sorry, I had this in the wrong order. So this one goes to a red and a, and a orange. 
whereas this one goes to a blue and a red, but it could be that this one's orange. So let's see, let's actually think about this more. So these two states are not the same. So this state and this state are not the same because on input A, the, this one stays in the blue group, whereas this one leaves the blue group. So these two states can't possibly be the same. And these two states can't be the same because um, this state will always go to a final state and this one could go to a non-final state. So this one right here is actually going to go to a completely different group. Okay, so then let's see. So now we have four groups right now. What about this state? So maybe let's try to going backwards like in this order. So let's try this one. So on input A and B, it always goes to a final state. So these two can't be the same, the ones on both ends here. So uh, let's try putting it in the orange group. So can we put it in the orange group? Well, let's see. So on input A, it state, this says that it goes to the, the purple group, whereas this one stays here. So these two can't be the same. Obviously, the red and the, the orange can't be the same because one's a final state and one of them isn't. So this one is actually a completely different group now. So now we got to put it in its own group. Let's call it the green group. So now let's see what about this one. So could it be that the blue states are the same? Well, they can't be because um, uh, this one goes to, could go to a green uh, state, whereas this one can't. So therefore, these two blue ones are not the same. Could it be that the orange ones are the same? But no, because this one can go to a green one. And in fact, we can eventually see that this one, uh, it, it must be uh, a completely different group because it can't be purple because um, the A stays in the purple group, whereas this one doesn't go to a purple group. So here, this one must be a completely different state um, different group additionally. So in fact, we have shown that all six states here must belong to their own group, and so therefore this DFA must be the smallest possible. There's no smaller DFA, say five states, on whatever language this one has to be. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you were able to find this out a different way. Always please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. It helps with the growth of the channel. Commenting really helps too. And as always, I'll see you next time.